Management. In this video, we are going to be setting ourselves up to be using the Steam subsystem. Now, previously, we were using the Null subsystem, which is essentially just a way to allow us to connect and really just test easily with our cells. Now, in order to use the Steam subsystem, at least to test with, one, you're going to have to package the game. Two, you're going to need a separate computer. Even if it's on your network, that's fine. Three, two separate Steam accounts. So one Steam account should be hosting, the other one should be joining. You cannot host and join on the same Steam account. A second or fourth, we need to port forward. So if we go over here to online subsystem Steam, go ahead and include this into it, game server query port, and port forward to 27015 as TCP slash UDP as well as port forward 7777 as TCP slash UTP, yeah, UDP, and save. Then we can close that. That is in your config, default engine, by the way, right here with everything else. Then we need to change everything relating to LAN to false, because Steam is not using LAN. So B is LAN match, set that to false. B is LAN query. Set that to false. Then go ahead and compile. And wait for it to be finished. Then we got to package our game. Once it builds. There we go. So to package, just go to File, Package Product. I did 64 bit. Save it wherever you'd like. I have already done it. So I'm not going to package. And I currently have a copy running on another PC in the house. So I'm going to go ahead and host a server on this computer, like so. As you can see, Steam's open, bottom right. And I'm going to go try to join the server from the other machine. So I'll be right back. Hopefully you will see him in a second. Alrighty, as you can see, he is now, he spawned in over there somewhere and I ran towards myself. But he is now in our world and connected to our Steam server. So, that is all we needed to do to convert to Steam. And, yeah, that's really all. I'm going to go ahead and do a relaunch. And I'm going to join the server on this computer and host on the other one. So I'll be right back just to confirm that that is working. Even though it should, obviously. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and join it, and I should be directly behind myself. Which I am, and I'm over here. So, both hosting and joining now works properly. All by simply setting ourselves to not be LAN, and depending on the subsystem we are using. Sorry, set the default platform service to Steam. I almost completely forgot to, I mentioned, I should have mentioned that in the first part. But in order to use it when you, before you package a game, this must be set to Steam. So I'll add a little annotation if I remember, but that is all. Now something else we can do is to determine this. We could do if session settings or session interface session it's called session name or something get named session right, so now we need our session name which is just my session wait no 
that's not it. We can get our subsystem that we're using here. I've actually done this in the past, so I probably have the Yeah, here's the game instance. Ah, it's on the subsystem itself. So that explains it. So I online subsystem get get subsystem name or name interface. So we get subsystem name. I'll oh, come on shift key. And we want to test if that does not equal All right, yeah, it's gone out I think entirely. No. All right, so if our online subsystem does not equal null, we are setting is the land match to false. Otherwise, we're setting session settings dot b is lan equals true. So if it's not null, we're setting our lan match to false, meaning because it is in fact a steam because we're running through Steam. Otherwise, we're going to set it to true. And we're going to do the same thing for join server. Like so. Does not equal null. Yep. We're setting it to true. Just like that. And then you can build and give it another try. And this little bit here and here will check if we're using the null subsystem or not. So if we are, we're just going to set it as a land match, which will allow us to easily toggle between the two. So for example, if I wanted to, I just do null, save it. Now when I play and test and all that kind of stuff, I'm using the null subsystem. So I'm automatically going to be as a land match. And this allows me to simply just for ease of testing. So whenever I'm ready and I'm, you know, I want to package the game to test on another machine or something like that, I can do it right back into it, config, default engine, change null to Steam, save it, and I'm good to go. So that is all that needs to be done. You now have a server and client that can connect to each other via Steam. And I will, I might continue this little bit, maybe do like a server browser or something, I'm not sure yet, but hopefully you find it useful and learn something because this is helping me kind of reinforce my little knowledge a little bit on this case because I haven't done this in well over a year and a half pretty much. So I'll see you in the next one, whatever that is and whenever that may be.